The Ontario government made an announcement today that it says will help stabilize electricity prices for the long term, create jobs and move the province closer to net zero emissions. Eric Fiano has more. We need to find ways to meet the increasing demand for power and ensure that the families and businesses of this province can afford the electricity they depend on. Ontario Premier Doug Ford was in Clarington today to mark the beginning of site preparation for Canada's first grid-scale modular reactor at Darlington Nuclear Site. The Premier was joined by Energy Minister Todd Smith to mark the milestone. Smith says the reactor will attract more investment in the province's economy. The Darlington SMR project is going to power our growing economy. It's going to create new export opportunities for Ontario's nuclear supply chain. According to the Ministry of Energy, the reactor will be the province's first nuclear reactor built in a generation. In March of this year, Niagara-based ES Fox was awarded the contract to deliver the early site preparation work. This work will include water supply, electrical power, information technology, and road services. It's work that is valued at $32 million. Once online, this SMR will boost the capacity of the Darlington station by 300 megawatts. That's enough electricity to power 300,000 homes. Currently, around 60% of Ontario's daily power usage comes from nuclear plants, with demand continuing to grow. The government says nuclear power will be the backbone of Ontario electricity in years to come, as the province looks to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. The nuclear power is clean power with zero carbon or smog emissions. Not to mention that it supports thousands of steady, good paying jobs for families of this region. According to a 2020 study by the Conference Board of Canada, once open, the new Darlington plant would employ 200 people during operations, as well as 2,300 jobs during planning and development. It's scheduled to be completed by 2028.